I am Muhammad Khaliq and we will learn how to find geometric mean of given group data. Please visit mafid.com or subscribe our channel Mafid for more such topics. If we are given lower class limit, upper class limit and their corresponding frequency then this is our given group data. If you do not know how to find group data from given ungrouped data then please visit a link given in description. Now let's find our geometric mean. Note that aqua background shows the given values and the area with light orange background shows the area where we will find values. First of all we will find boundary factor. We will find boundary factor by subtracting upper class limit of previous class from lower class limit of next class. Let's do it. Is equal to lower class limit of next class minus upper class limit of previous class. Now, we need to divide it by 2. And this is our boundary factor. Now, we will subtract this boundary factor from all the lower class limits and the resultant value will become our lower class boundary. Is equal to lower class limit minus boundary factor and this is our lower class boundary as D20 or the 0 0.5 will be subtracted from all the lower class limits that's why we will select and press F4 dollar signs will make sure that it remains 0 0.5 throughout the column enter now drag it downwards and we have our lower class boundaries now to find upper class boundaries is equal to then upper class limit plus boundary factor enter and this is our upper class boundary drag it downwards but before that we need to select d20 f4 and now we can drag it downwards if we do not do this then the d20 will change and we want d20 to remain same that is 0 0.5 now we will find midpoints of lower class boundary plus upper class boundary now we will divide it by 2 as we are finding midpoints drag it downwards and we will have midpoints for all the lower class boundary and upper class boundaries now we will find log of these midpoints is equal to log to the base 10 select the midpoint close the bracket enter and this is log of this midpoint drag it downwards and we have logs of all midpoints now we need to find the product of frequency and log of midpoints is equal to product of frequency ok first frequency multiplied by log of midpoints enter drag it downwards and we will have product for all the values now we need sum of all the frequencies is equal to sum sum select all the values close the bracket and this is the sum of all frequencies is equal to sum to find the sum of product of frequency and midpoints log of midpoints close the bracket now here we will divide sum of product of frequency and log of midpoints this value divided by sum of frequencies here now we will find its anti-log and we can do it by raising it to the power 10 10 raised to power in brackets the resultant value of sum of product of frequency and log of midpoints divided by sum of frequencies enter and this is our geometric mean of this given group data this one thank you